Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Roll Vlogs. And today with me, I've got the Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV 450. It is the GLS of the electric version. Is it any good? Let's find out. So, the design of the EQS SUV. It looks big, massive, tall, white. So let's start with the grill. Mercedes are not doing what some manufacturers do and putting the car a grill. It's blanked out. Nice. And it's got these little three star logos, the Mercedes logo everywhere. That's a really nice touch. And you got a big Mercedes logo over here. And you got a smaller Mercedes Benz logo over here. And you got this light bar across over here. That looks really nice. And it makes the car brighter and like gives them more presence so coming to the main LED lights these are LED high performance LED lights they look nice sleek modern and they're, they're very good Mercedes makes very good headlights and yeah I like it a lot then you got this chrome strip that run across all the way to the other side that looks nice and you know what chrome means on cars chrome means luxurious so this car needs to have lots of chrome because it is expensive and it's luxurious so coming down you got these bits over here these are fake pointless 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 but you got this Mercedes 3 star logo over here that's nice and you got this air vent over here that feeds air through here and down the side to improve the aerodynamics of the car as this is an electric car it needs to be as aerodynamic, aerodynamic as possible to get the most range so you also got like some black trims over here that just makes it a bit more sportier like from here here there and to the other side and below that you got a chrome strip again to make it luxurious and expensive moving down you got your front bumper it's nothing too special yeah it's still there and yeah nice i like it moving up oh one thing there's a camera over here and that's nice so you got a big hood over here but you can't open it it's only for mercedes technicians to open this thing don't know why anyway you got these strong creases on the on the hood that just gives the car more presence and makes it look tough and it looks nice and look at this there's like a power bulge over here if when you look at from the side it goes down and up and from here again up that's really nice i like it so what do you think of the front of the eq SUV? very nice nice now let's go to the side so the side of the eq SUV it's very long but it's just something. I don't prefer it. I like the look of the GLS more. And this just looks like a bit too heavy and fat looking car. But it's aerodynamic. Which is more important because you need to get the most range. So talking about aerodynamics. The wheels. These are AMG 21 inch alloy wheels. And they are aerodynamic as possible. They look nice also. I like it. And you got your Mercedes Benz logo over here. And your AMG logo over here and over here you got your black wheel arches nice and yeah over here is where you fill up your wiper fluid nice and you got EQS written over here that's also a nice feature so the mirror they have auto fold in and out which is nice and looks here and you got your blinkers over here nice and then you got this chrome strip which is massive and it wraps around the whole window area nice and it's got those black trims over here that's also nice nice looking and i like the paint of this car this gray it just suits it so much it's just like oh i love that color way too much nice color and look at the door handles they are they got auto lock and unlock key entry and they come out they come out like this so you can open the door and when you're done and you move in and when you're driving it goes back in that's really nice touch and that is aerodynamic so you get more range which is key now the side steps these are that to help you get in and out of the car so 
This car's pretty high, so you need you can do it easily, like that. Nice. And you can get out also easily by using the side steps. So moving on to oh yeah, it's got pretty wide haunches and that's really nice. And you got not a lot of creases and stuff going on around here. It's just a plain, smooth design. Other than this arch, and it just goes all the way to the forward. That's a nice touch. So now we're coming to the back of the car, which is also nice because it has one of the best backs in the Mercedes lineup with this full like tail light. That's nice. And you got these big windows, lots of light going in. And you got like a little spoiler, which is in black. That's nice. It's a nice contrast to the paint. And you got a full sunroof over there. And then coming down, you got your EQS 450 plus badge over here, which is nice. And you got a Mercedes Benz badge over here. And this is the way you can open the boot. I'll show you later in the video now. Then coming down, you got black dot trims over here. It's nice and elegant. Then you got this chrome strip which runs around here. It looks very nice and luxurious. But there is one thing I need to check. And that's this. It's trying to imitate an exhaust, which is does not have, as this is an electric car. Hmm, there is no need for that. Then you got this bit to make it even more aerodynamic. And if you look under the car, and it's pretty flat all around, and it looks nice from the end of the side, as there's no lot of parts hanging down and up, and yeah, it's pretty nice. So, what do you think of the design of the EQS SUV? It's very nice looking, fantastic. Just the side, it just lacks it down a little bit, but still, it's nice looking, it's a Mercedes. So, the boot of the EQS 450 Plus, it opens electronically, and with all the seats down, you have 2,100 litres of boot space. You can put up the, third, the middle row seats by just putting these down, sorry, up, up, and here comes the left side, and there's the seats coming. It takes time, it's electronic, which is luxurious, but it takes a little bit of time. Then you got 880 litres of boot space with this much, the, the middle row up. And you, when you fall down, when you put up these seats, you have 195 litres of boot space. Which is pretty good for a 7 the SUV. And it comes down electronically. Nice. Now, let's check out the back seats of the EQS 450 Plus. So, in the back of the EQS SUV, you got average knee room, and you can stretch out under the seat. Nice. And you got lots of headroom. It's fine for children, um, but taller adults with long legs will struggle and will be sitting like this. But it's doable. So now, let's take out the middle row of the EQS SUV. So, in the middle row of the EQS SUV electric, you got good knee room, and you can stretch out. And you got this very comfy Mercedes pillow, and it's very nice. Ah, oh, very nice to sit in. And you can also stretch out below the, the passenger seat. It's nice. Very good. And you can also sit the person in the middle row, as there's like enough room, and the floor is flat because this is an electric car. You can open this. You got your hand rest over here. That's nice. And now you got your cup holders over here. That's a really cool way to integrate that into the armrest nice and yeah overall the back seats are very good and a few things show the types of things you are you got your air vents over here you got airplane style pockets over here that's nice and yeah that's all about it you got your lights over here which you can open and it likes lights are really nice and yeah pretty good and you got a handle over here to hold on when this car is launching because it's very fast and then you got a coat hook over here, a small one. Then you got a big sunroof over here. It, this cannot open, but it still looks good. It lets light into the cabin, which is very nice. Now, let's check out the front seats of the EQS SUV. So, the design of the EQS SUV, it looks very similar to the EQS, which is the sedan version. So, I like it. The materials are nice, the design is nice, and yeah, very nice looking. 
So now, the steering wheel. It's wrapped in this wonderful white leather. It's very nice to hold. It's grippy, comfortable, yeah, perfect. And you have this black swoosh over here. It's in black color and it's really nice, wonderful. And you got the silver trim surrounding it and over here. And then you got your Mercedes Benz badge over here. And then on this side, you got a volume control. And this thing is a bit fiddly, as you can do press, and it's also swipe and like touchscreen version thing. It's just a bit too confusing. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you got your paddle shifts over here. These are actually not paddle shifts to change the gear, as this is an electric car. This is here to change the recuperation of the battery. So, do you know what recuperation means? If you don't, hear me out now. So, recuperation is when the motor of the electric car runs in reverse to charge its battery automatically. So, this means when you have high recuperation, when you lift off, you can feel like someone's braking, but you're not, you don't need to actually like press the brakes. This is very good in like towns and cities where you're doing start stop traffic and this system is very good there it gives you more range which is very key to an electric car and yeah that's all about it so the digital drive display is very nice crisp and yeah it's got detail and you know you have different views such as classic nice you have sport which is very nice and understated which is nice nice colors you can also have like a full screen where you have your navigation as your main. You can also see your assistances and you can also see the service of the car. So messages, everything and stuff. And overall it's a very nice digital driver's display. I like Mercedes's digital driver's display. They're very nice. They're wonderful. You have a big sunroof and you can open this by over here. Here comes the sunroof, opens up very nicely, very good on a sunny day, not so good on a rainy day. And you can close it, and it's nice, it gives a little bit of shade and stuff, and you can also put your blinds. It's a little bit fiddly to use when you're driving as you need to hold your finger and stuff, but it's still nice. That's very nice, and you control it from here. It's a little bit hard to operate when you're driving. I prefer like the system where you just have to like hold the button, not like you have to swipe and to do stuff, which is a little bit more harder. Then over here, this is very nice. You have your ambient lighting, and this it's like an artwork, which very nice. I like it a lot. You also got lights over here also. That's nice, and yeah, pretty nice which you can change and I'll show you. Let's go purple. It's purple now. If you go green, it goes green. It goes any color which you have the ambient lighting in. That's very nice. The infotainment system is the Mercedes latest one. It's very good. So I'll take you to the features in the screen. Mercedes EQ. This you see your remaining range and you can also see your charging program. So you can have standard charging, charging program at home and work. Then you can see eco charging which like charges your battery up to 80% and you can also like automatically optimize the battery so when the battery is cold it warms up so you can charge it quicker then you got charging interruptions so like AC charging is also there for this car so that's like AC is fast charging and DC is like normal home plug 3 plug charging kind of stuff and you can also s open the charging flap from inside which is nice then if you move to range you can see your maximum range and it also tells you how to optimize and like make the most about out of this car then you can see a consumption which shows your energy usage and this is not very realistic about now as this car has been on and does nothing then let's move on to the next one which is apps you can see the different apps you have in this car so there's big beginner mode which shows you how to like learn about this car and stuff then you have another mode where it is valet service mode which is like reduces the power and like makes the car that valet people doesn't like check your car which is not comfortable 
Then you have settings. This shows you everything you need to know. So there's ESP, collision avoidance, like the safety systems, the assistance, the camera, and you can also open the camera cover from here. You can see parking. This car can like automatically park. The vehicle, you can see your driving stuff. Your, you got creep mode, which is like, it just like goes slowly, it does not like stop. Then you got car mouse mode, where when you activate it, the mirrors fold in, the windows and roofs lock, the convenience uh, vehicle opening offs and park, like the automatic parking offs, rain sensing, rain sensors off and the rear window wipers off. So that's for to like not do the wipers when you're in the car wash, which is going to be really annoying. You can switch it off. It goes off. Nice. And then you got comfort. Which shows you easy entry and exit. That shows you like your steering wheel position. And you can look also roof roller your sunbind. Automatically from here. Occument protection. It shows you your belt adjustment and stuff. Open close the acoustic lock and stuff. And you can also change the dynamic selector of the vehicle. Then lights you can see your exterior light stuff and your ambient lighting. In system you can see uh, the voice assistant. Which you can activate by Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Nothing. Go away. So, when you think anything about Mercedes, so Mercedes is like a fantastic car. Mercedes is very awesome. Mercedes is like wonderful. Look at it. It pops up. Annoying. Very annoying. Display, and you can see the brightness of your display and stuff. And then you can see more about the car. Yeah. So that's all that does. The moving to radio, phone, does normal settings, music. In comfort, let's start with the seats. So you can do seat kinetics. So you can like see where you want the massage to be and the duration of it. Just like moves your seat around, which is, which just makes your blood flow and everything. It just, yeah, it's nice. Then you can see your heating positions. So you can like, just where you want the heat most. So if you just want it on your back, you can do it there. Or on in just your, on, on your legs over there. Or everywhere, you can go here. And you can also do the same for the passenger. Then you can like, this is a very cool feature. So, let's go to Sunny Meet. So, if you're a very sharp person and you don't know how to do this, you can just like say, I'm 145 centimeters tall. I want the seats to be positioned for me. It does it automatically. And I'm getting killed, so cancel. Let's go to my height. Let's go 192. And now the car puts it perfect for like, me. See, it's doing everything. It brings out the steering wheel, puts the seats back, and it's very nice. That's a very really cool feature. And then you can also reset the seats to factory settings and stuff. That's just nonsense. Then you can see your ambient lighting. So you got lots of colors. One, two. What's the total? 64. You got 64 different colors for your ambient lighting. Let's try out blue. It's not very nice in the daytime. But the only color that works in the daytime is the purple. It just stands out and it's very nice. You can also see it inside your air vents. That's nice. You can also have like multicolor options where it shows you different colors you want. So you can go ocean blue, Miami rose. And you can also see your ambient lighting effects when exiting, climate, greeting. Okay, that's fine. Then comfort is done. So let's move on to information it shows you like your energy flow and how the battery c the motor is being run and everything so this car is rear wheel drive so here you have one rear motor over here and that's your battery pack over here and you can see the remaining charge and you can also see your vehicle so this shows you the incline and pitch and down and it also shows you your suspension so you can drive this car on its air suspension and lower it also and yeah that's nice and you can see your acceleration and your braking on the side and you can you have a map it's very big crisp it moves quickly and it's 2d and it's three you can also have it 2d and 3d that's nice and then you got this section just for your climate control very nice then down over here you have your dynamic select so you got eco for the most range comfort for being comfortable sport for sport Port mode and individual is where you can customize everything 
Then you got a parking cameras over here. So this car can park itself, so you need to drive and find space, and it can park itself. Then here's the cameras. So you can see the back camera. You can see that camera. And yeah, you can get also get 360 degree cameras for the car. Moving on, you got the EQ button, your car settings button, your hazards. And this thing is like fingerprint sensor, so you can lock your car when someone else is there. And when you come back, you can just scan it and you can be in your profile. That's to turn off the screen. And this is for your volume control, all these. And those are also touch sensitive, so you can move it around like that. And yeah, that's all about the infotainment system. Nice. So you got a rose gold over here. It's very nice and it's good. And these are very solid. And the material over here is soft, squidgy, and it's kind of a fabric kind of material. Nice. Down over here is your start stop button. Very simple. Nice. And then you got this design over here, which is very nice. It floats all the way and you feel like cocooned in this car with this and everything in here. It's just very nice. Look at the air vents. These are turbine style air vents and they have ambient lighting inside them. Nice. And to open the glue box of this car is very nice. You hit the switch, it comes down. It doesn't go back up. You have to close it. That's nice. And then over here you got your armrest. Piano black trim, silver, ambient lighting. There's the speakers, and this is how you open the door of the car. Over here, this is the door handle, solid metal, very nice. This is your seat control over here, and over here you can engage your heated seats, and you can also put on memory seats. Down over here, you get the door buttons, they are large size, and you can fill bottles with them. So look at this, you got extra storage over here, and this is an electric car. And it's very nice. You can like keep your bags and stuff. And you got two USB C's over here. So look at this. You got lots of black piano, black trim. I like it. It looks good in the showroom. What well, the reality is, when you get it out on the road, you can scratch it so easily. And then it just does not look so good. To open this, you do this. Goes in very nice and damped. You got two USB C's, and they got like ambient lighting blue over here. You got wireless charging pad over here. This can charge Apple and Android phones. And this is the place where you have to keep the key. And over here you got your cup holders. And you can like push them so they become like available for smaller cups. And if you push that also it comes out. And you can just like fold the black out for a normal size cup holder. All very nice and futuristic and lovely. Look at this coming back. Comes back damped nice so look at this this is your armrest it's a very soft suede like material very nice and you got rose gold stitching which is also very nice and you open it over here it splits out two ways and it's a very deep and big storage area very nice i like it and you got two usb c's again down over here that's it for that so the seats of the EQS SUV, they're very comfortable, nice quality, made of leather, very nice to sit in and you have a lot of adjustment in them. Very nice, that's all I have to say about the seats. The Mercedes-Benz EQS 450 Plus SUV has a battery of 108 kilowatt hours and a real range of 500 kilometers, does 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds, 355 horsepower and 568 newton meters of torque and the motors is placed in the back so it's rear wheel drive so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and the EQS SUV is fantastic it's like the next GLS SUV it's going to be a luxury lead marketing SUV for currently in Mercedes range because all of the Audi and BMW competitors are not as good as this car so yeah it's very nice so see you soon bye